uh, here uh, we see this problem a sample of sodium hydroxide contain 95 percent of sodium hydroxide and three percent of sodium carbonate if uh, 4.25 gram of this sample is uh, dissolved and volume is made up to uh, 500 ml then what is the normality when it is employed in titration with uh, phenolphthalein indicators and what is the normality if methyl or is used as an indicator so in first case what happens uh, if it is reacting with an any acid then what happens sodium hydroxide and sodium carbonate is used up so it will be, but here it is using how much 95 percent here it is using 93 percent so total basis how much it is used up and that is the equivalent of the acid okay so we have to find the equivalent weight of the acid so first we will take the base so base is both are equal milligram of sodium carbonate is nothing but uh, after neutralization with the acid uh, we get milligram of uh, sodium carbonate is equal to milligram of sodium bicarbonate okay and here volume is 500 ml we have to find the milligram of acid okay so here we can write here milligram of uh, sodium hydroxide plus uh, milligram of sodium bicarbonate so it is how much so it is nothing but if you see here so here weight they have given here 4.25 gram of sample so right here uh, 4.25 gram and the sodium hydroxide is uh, it is given here 95 percent means 95 by 100 so this is our weight okay and divide by uh, equivalent weights that is equal, equal to 40 and the second uh, milligram of uh, so sodium bicarbonate again they have three percent so three percent means three by hundred into four point two five and multiplied by uh, equivalent weight is 106 so if you solve it so here we'll get uh, totally total equivalent that is 0 0.0204 normality so this will get 0 0, uh, 0.204 normality okay so this is normality uh, not normality it's your um 500 volume is also given here so this will be your not this will be equivalent right here equivalent of sodium hydroxide because we are not taking volume so it will be a 0 0.904 0 0.90 uh, sorry 0 0.204 normality so this is the normality employed in the titration for uh, when you are using sph indicators now second case so second case is same thing is there okay but here we are using methyl orange as a indicator so in this case what will happen so we have to take uh, Na2CO3 will be fully converted to uh, sodium chloride plus waters okay or whatever is there this will fully utilize so here we have to take the n factor 2 in this case here n factor will be uh, 1 but in this case n factor will be 2 so again we can write here um, equivalent of sodium hydroxide uh, plus equivalent of uh, sodium carbonate total total we have to find out so here in case n factor is only one here n factor will be your two so in this case you can write here 4.25 into 0 0.95 divided by 100 okay multiplied by 1 by 4 2 because n factor is one in this case n factor will be two so here write it 4.25 and 3 by 100 and multiplied by so here it will be your n factor will be your uh, 106 divided by 2 so this is our so if you solve it here in, in this you will get here 0 1 0 uh, point uh, 0 point 1 0 3 normal so this is for methyl orange so in this methyl orange solutions n factor as a na2 co3 will be completely neutralized but in this case of a sodium bicarbonate in fact it, it is half neutralization and the volume is 500 ml a mixture uh, which uh, weight uh, 0.8 gram contains sodium carbonate, sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide. It is dissolved in water and titrated with 0.4 normal SCL solutions. 47 ml of acid is required to reach the uh, phenolphthalein endpoint. An additional 6.4 ml acid is required to reach the methyl orange endpoint. So calculate the weight percentage each of the constituent in original mixture. Original mixture means uh, there are three mixtures is there in which uh, up first it is reacting with the uh, in presence of indicators this is HPS so only sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate all will react so after that uh, so it will react with the methyl orange so it will give you 
so it, it will be fully reacted so we have to find the percentage so here we know that uh, how much uh, sodium carbonate sodium carbonate is half neutralization okay so we can find first uh, sodium carbonate is half neutralized and we will take a sodium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide separately so let us take from the back side so back side sodium bicarbonate is half neutralized so we can write here from uh, methyl orange and point we can write here from methyl and point so what is here uh, sodium bicarbonate it will react with the SCL and it will give you NaCl plus H2O plus CO2 okay so we can write uh, milli equivalent of HCl so which is equal to milli equivalent of sodium bicarbonate milli equivalent of sodium bicarbonate so here mean equivalent of acid uh, end point is 6.4 ml is given 6.4 uh, then uh, molarity is normality is 0.4 this is nothing but a mean equivalent of sodium bicarbonate or we can say here uh, milli mole of sodium bicarbonate or we can write here Na2CO3 because uh, mean equivalent of uh, sodium carbonate is equal to milli equivalent of sodium bicarbonate so both will be the same so we can write here this one okay so here what is the mass because we have to find the sodium carbonate so here, here again we have to take the sodium carbonates right here uh, weight of Na2CO3 will be how much so definitely this will be your millimole is there so okay we can write here 6.4 into 0.4 so this will be divided by uh, 10 to the power so millimole is there so we have to multiply by minus 3 okay and uh, weight we have to find as so molar mass is given so again we have to multiply molar mass molar mass of sodium carbonate is molar mass of a2 is 106 so again divided by molar mass that is 106 gram so we will get answer here if we solve it so this will you get 0.27136 gram so this is the weight of sodium carbonate okay so we can find the percentage also so percentage of Na2CO3 this will be how much so this is nothing but the 27136 okay so 16 gram and if you divide it by the total 0.8 gram so on dividing 0.8 gram 0.8 gram multiplied by 100 so we will get answer here uh, 33.92 percent so this is basically the percentage now question is uh, second is uh, what is the percentage of sodium hydroxide and calcium hydroxide so we can take here what is the mass of calcium oxide plus sodium hydroxide is equal to how much so this will be total 8 gram uh, minus this is the weight of sodium carbonate so this is the weight of sodium carbonate so we can write here 0.27136 gram so here we will get answer 0.5286 gram so this is the weight of oxide calcium oxide and uh, sodium hydroxide so we can take the equivalent weight and equate to this one so on equating we will get the one value of x so let us equate it so on equating next problem here so now we will take the equivalent weight so now this mixture contains suppose calcium oxide we take here let x gram so this will be your total minus x this minus x so ultimately we will uh, take the equivalent of calcium oxide plus equivalent of uh, sodium hydroxide okay and this will be equal to uh, reaction of the uh, this one uh, total uh, uh, has re SCL reacted with uh, this compound uh, sodium hydroxide plus calcium oxide then uh, reaction taken by the uh, this one uh, 6.4 ml of SCL 47 ml okay with this compound first is per 4 ml then 47 ml of same concentration so equivalent of calcium oxide equivalent of sodium hydroxide will be equal to so right here uh, milli equivalent of SCL in HPH minus milli equivalent of SCL in methyl orange so this is how much so this is 
फोर्टी सेवन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट फोर माइनस हेयर सिक्स पॉइंट फोर इंटू जीरो पॉइंट फोर एंड अगेन डिवाइड बाय थाउजेंड सो ऑन सॉल्विंग सो हेयर वी विल गेट आंसर दैट इज सिक्सटीन पॉइंट टू फोर इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस थ्री ओके सो अगेन हाउ मच दिस इज कैल्सियम इज दिस इज कैल्सियम आई टेकन एक्स नाम एक्स विल भी एक्स अपॉन ट्वेंटी एट एंड दिस विल योर जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू एट सिक्स माइनस एक्स बाई फोर्टी एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड दिस मन सो दिस रिप्लाई दैट दिस इज द होल इक्वेशन ओके सो नाउ यू कैन इजली फाइंड आउट वाट सो ऑन सॉल्विंग विल गेट हेयर ट्वेल्व एक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी एट इंटू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू एट सिक्स दैट इज सिक्सटीन पॉइंट टू फोर इंटू टेन पावर माइनस थ्री दिस इज दिस इक्वेशन हेयर विल गेट हेयर ट्वेंटी एट इंटू This is this way. So uh, minus three into forty into twenty. So this is the answer. So if you multiply this into this equation, we'll get here this answers. Okay. So again, so in this case, uh, what is the x value? So x is equal to zero point two eight. Two gram, so which is which is nothing but the mass. So this is the mass of the calcium oxide. So what is the percentage of calcium oxide? So percentage of calcium oxide will be your zero two eight two divided by zero point eight into hundred. So answer will be your thirty five point two five. So definitely uh, mass of percentage of the sodium hydroxide is the mass percentage of sodium hydroxide will be. Thirty point eight three, or you can take here hundred minus thirty five point two five, or minus thirty three point nine two percent. So, which is the this is the calcium oxide. This is the mass of the sodium carbonate that that we have already find out. So, we will get this value. So, we get one value, uh, one value this one, okay, and second value this one. So, this is the mass percentage of mixtures. A solution containing sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, 10 ml of the solutions uh, requires 2.5 ml of 0.1 molarity H2 support neutralization using uh, phenolphthalein as an indicator. Methyl orange is added. When further 2.5 ml of 0.2 molarity H2 support was required, calculate the amount of sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate in one liter of the solution. Means we have to find the strength of the sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate. So we have also discussed this question by earlier also. So we will take questions. So first uh, regarding the end point of phenolphthalein indicators. So in this case we can see here uh, this will be half neutralized. So we can write here uh, milli coulant of H2SO4. Okay, is equal to milli coulant of uh, sodium carbonate. Okay. So here milli coulant of H2SO4 is given here 2.5 into 0.2. So this is nothing but the equal to milli coulant of Na2CO3. So we can find the weight. So weight of the Na2CO3 will be your weight of Na2CO3 will be your equivalent weight of this much. The equivalent weight is nothing but the 106 because in this case uh, n factor will be one. Why n factor is one? Because Na2CO3 is converting into NaHCO3. So n factor is one. So this is the milli coulant weight. Okay. And multiplied by thousand. So here, uh, weight of Na2CO3 uh, will be here. So if you multiply, this, this become 0.5, uh, 2.5 into 2. So it will be 50. So this is 0.5 into 106 divided by thousand. So here we will get answer 0.53 gram. That is in how much ml? So it is given here in 10 ml. So we have to find the one liter. So in One liter, how much will be the uh, gram? So it will be your uh, weight of Na to CO3 will be your that is per liter will be zero point five three. So again divide by ten into thousand. So we multiply it, so it will be your five point three gram. So this is the weight of sodium carbonate. Now we have to find the 
we know the weight of sodium, we have to find sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate, we, uh, current, we know the word, what is sodium bicarbonate. For sodium bicarbonate, we have to take the methyl orange range. So for methyl orange range, so we take here again. See here. From uh, methyl orange end, so here we will get here uh, milliequivalent of H2SO4 is equal to milliequivalent of Na2CO3 and plus milliequivalent of NaHCO3. So this was original, originally present, which, which is not reacted in the previously with the phenolphthalein. Uh, phenolphthalein indicators so in this case here 2.5 multiplied by 4 okay and this we know that so this was how much so this was your uh, 0.1 so this was your not 0.1 this will be your 0.5 okay this will be your 0.5 and again this is equal to milliequivalent of sodium bicarbonate okay originally present so on solving this will we get so here this is not 4 this is your 0.4 this is given here 0.2 molarity so 0.2 into 2 so this is uh, your uh, 2 into 0 0.2.4 so this will get here uh, so uh, 2.5 into 0.4 so we'll get here 1.0 minus uh, 0 0.5 this is the milliequivalent of sodium bicarbonate okay so again we can find the weight so this is nothing but the weight of sodium bicarbonate uh, divided by the equivalent weight so equivalent weight is here 84 and multiplied by 1000 okay so from here this is nothing but the, this is equal to 0 0.5 so weight of sodium bicarbonate will be equal to 0 0.5 into 84 divided by 1000 so this will be get answer 0 0.042 gram but in this will be your in 10 ml okay so again weight of sodium bicarbonate okay in liter if you want to find in liter so again we have to do uh, 0 0.042 okay so this will be your uh, divide by 10 into so here you will get here 4.2 grams so this is basically answer this is the weight of sodium bicarbonate this is the weight of sodium carbonate